What's Crackling Codelets? In this quick video, I'm going to show you a really simple way to have your environment variables persist when you're working in development with a Node.js application. So if you're coming from a course like Colt Steele's The Web Developer Bootcamp or maybe his MySQL course, then you may be used to exporting your environment variables with the export command from your terminal. And then you have your env var name, whatever that may be, like maybe it's your Gmail password or your MongoDB password or something like that. And then you set it equal to some value, you hit enter, it gets exported in the terminal and it's available for that terminal session. Now the problem is of course, if you shut down that session, then you no longer have access to that environment variable. So let me give you an example. Right now I have a running application, it's using process.env.secret var, or if that's undefined, then it's just using dot dot dot. So if we head over to our running application and we refresh, welcome to dot dot dot. Okay, fine. So we head over to our terminal, we turn off the server, and now we do the old export secret var. Remember that's the name of the variable that I'm using right here, is equal to, and then we can set it to whatever we want. So we'll just say express. And now if we start up this node process and we refresh our server, welcome to express. So it's reading from process.env.secret underscore var and it's pulling that express value. Great. Now, if we head over here and I think if I just open a new terminal, that might get it to knock it out. Let's see. Yep. So with a new terminal, now we're back to square one where it just has dot dot dot. So every time you restart your C9 workspace or your GORM container or whatever you're using for development, if you're working locally and you shut down your terminal or restart your computer, then you have to re-export all of these environment variables. What a headache, right? Well, we have a really simple solution. So what we'll do is npm install dot env. So the name of this package is dot env, dot env. Hit enter. And while that's happening over there, go back to your code and inside of app.js at the very top, let's do a require.env.config. And so this will be looking for a .env file in the root directory of your project. So let's go ahead and create one now. We'll create a new file, call it .env, save it. And then inside of here, we can do secret var is equal to express and save it. And so now, with this .env file and having this environment variable being defined inside of the .env file and then in app.js requiring .env and of course in package.json having .env installed as a dependency, now we can use the values that are inside of here over in our application. So if we go to our terminal and let's open up a new terminal and run no daemon. This is to get our server running. Now if we head back over to your express, refresh, welcome to express. Now, here's where it gets really cool. We turn this off, we open up a new terminal, and so at this point, before when we ran our daemon, we got dot 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 because the environment variable did not persist. So this time, when we open up a new terminal window and we run our daemon, head back over here, refresh, what do you know? It still says welcome to express. Awesome. So if you go back over here, you can change it really easily to something else. Now notice I have a space right there. I think that's probably gonna give me an issue. So let's go back and refresh. Have to restart the server. I might have to open up in a new terminal to get it to refresh. There we go. Okay, so it actually doesn't have a problem with the space, which is good. So welcome to something else. And you can go back here and change it to another something. And as long as the server's still running, it's not gonna refresh, but the moment you restart your server, then it's going to refresh. Now, before we leave, really important note, if you're using git and you have a git ignore file, you definitely want to ignore this .env file. You do not want this to go into your git repository. This is gonna hold a lot of really sensitive information, like your passwords, emails, things like that. So you do not want this in git. You don't want it in GitHub or any of your other services like Bitbucket or GitLab. If you have a server that's on like, let's say a droplet for um, what do they call it, DigitalOcean, then you can create a .env file using SSH and you can put the values in for your environment variables manually on the server. Or if you're using Heroku, then they have a really simple way. You can just either log into your dashboard and do it or from the CLI, you can do Heroku config colon set secret underscore var is equal to some value. Hopefully this is a helpful tip for you to be able to use environment variables without having to re-export them every time you start up your project. Thanks a lot and we'll catch you in the next video.